Hi. To start off, I'm a pretty short girl with brown hair, and my roommate is pretty tall with blonde hair. This story happened a year ago. I had just moved to Canada for my film studies and had found a student residence where I had met my now best friend, that I'll call Christina for the story, and two other roommates. Christina and I really liked going out when we were bored or tired of staying in. So most of the time, we'd go out at night since that was when we were mostly bored. One night, around 3 a.m., we decided to go out for a walk downtown and decided to go to Chinatown. The streets were pretty empty apart from a couple people that were mostly going home after a long shift. The streets were glowing with all the lanterns and a couple shops that were closing at the time. At the time, I had a pack of cigarettes in my bag since I had a movie where I needed cigarettes as props. As we were walking down the street, we noticed a weird man, bald in his late 30s, standing ahead of us, right at the end of a dark alley. He approached us and asked us if we by chance had a lighter. I told him we didn't, but it did bring back to mind that pack of cigarettes that I had. So I offered him the pack since I'm not a smoker and wasn't going to use them anyway. He smiled and thanked us as we started to make our way down the road. After a couple minutes, I felt uneasy and peeked behind me to see the man staring at us from afar, but brushed it off. After a while, Christina tapped me on the shoulder telling me to look behind me in a subtle way. I turned around to see the same man 20 feet away from us walking slowly in the same direction. Christina and I noticed a bubble tea store ahead that was still open but was about to close. The bubble tea store had a big glass window where you could see the streets. We went in to get a drink and while waiting, the weird encounter wasn't on our mind anymore. 10 minutes later, I was looking out the window when the man suddenly walked in front of the window and stopped staring right at us. He placed both hands against the window looking at us with wide eyes. He then decides to come in and looks at the cashier and asks her, so what is this? The cashier said, it's a bubble tea store, but we're closed now. He stood there staring at her without saying anything. The cashier said, we're not taking any orders, we're closed. Me, Christina, and the cashier all looked at each other sensing something was off. He then turns to me and says, see you momentarily with the creepiest smile I've ever seen before heading out. We all stood there frozen, not knowing what to do. So we decided to wait it out a bit. Five minutes later, we saw him peeking through the window waiting to see when we were going to go out and hit back to the side. Christina and I decided to go to the cashier and ask her if she had a back door we could leave from. She said yes and led us to the back door that led to a dark alley. Our only way home was through the front street where the man was. We started making our way through very slowly until we made it to the same road, but a little further than where the bubble tea store was. Once there, we ran as fast as we could to the nearest place we could hide. I peeked over my shoulder to see him sprinting towards us. After a while of running, we lost him at a karaoke bar that was still open, where we decided to stay a couple hours before heading home to make sure he wouldn't be there anymore. But it kept me thinking, what would have happened if we would have left through the front door? <laughs> 